This mean it's time to make some New Year's resolutions, right? And for millions, saving money is number one. It is a daunting task for even the most seasoned professional, but it's even more challenging for young people just starting out who have to juggle paying monthly bills and saving for the future. Tonight, News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan shares his path to becoming a first-time investor. Of the 20 initial entries, the fair narrowed it down to four finalists. I'm one of the lucky ones, getting to do the job I've always dreamed of doing. But like many other 28-year-olds, investing for the future is always in the back of my mind. It's $200 a month. It's time for a meeting with a certified financial planner, Rick Reagan. I went in thinking I'd walk out with a small stake in Disney or Apple. I think of investing, I think of stocks and bonds, I think of watching CNBC. Yeah, yeah, so so financial planning is really, really broad. So, uh, you know, take you, Andrew. Uh, you're, you're young and you're single, so our financial plan with you is probably going to be about you establishing an emergency fund in case you lose your job or something, um, and then also then saving for retirement. It turns out I'm already doing that. I use News Channel 9's 401k plan. And if your company offers one, you should too. If your employer is offering you 401k and they're giving you a match, that's free money. You take it. That's a no-brainer. The money automatically comes out of my paycheck tax-free, sits in an account I can't touch until retirement, and is invested in the meantime. And you've done a good job. You've invested in your 401k in what I would consider the correct spot. Most 401ks will offer employees target date retirement funds. So you select a mutual fund based on the year you're likely to retire. They'll automatically invest it in an appropriate mix of stock and bond for you. But as you get older, they'll adjust it, making it more conservative. Rick says it's life changing to start early. A 35 year old who invests $200 a month, $2,400 a year will have $293,000 at age 65. Not bad. But start a decade sooner at age 25, the same $200 a month turns into $671,500 at age 65. More than double. Rick would like my 401k contribution between myself and my company match to total 15% of my pay. And then he suggests looking at a Roth IRA for more retirement savings. As much as I learned sitting down with Rick Reagan, the good news for me is that I don't need to go back for a checkup. This game plan will last me through when I get married and have children. And the next time I should sit down with a financial planner is probably when I get closer to retirement. So enough about me. Rick Reagan is willing to answer your questions tonight. He's sitting next to me. We're live on News Channel 9's Facebook page. So it doesn't just have to be the young investor. We'll talk about retirement. We'll talk about the stock market. We'll talk about the holiday season because Rick Reagan has some advice about gift cards. Join us live on Facebook right now. Rod, you'll finish the newscast and we'll know you'll tune in right after that. All right.